Another day of airstrikes across Ukraine today. Russian forces hit different parts of the country with strikes and drones and missiles. People are being told not to leave their shelters. Ukrainian leaders say they did manage, though, to shoot down many Russian missiles. Russia says it is retaliation for a blast that damaged a key bridge connecting Russia to Crimea. Now, the newest bombings are sparking new outrage in Ukraine. NBC Barry's Jody Hernandez shares the voices of people inside the war zone. The explosion was so strong that we hurt every every one uh, of those. And I think starting 8.30 a.m. until uh, 12 a.m., I think every 20 minutes something exploded really close. Sitting in the dark in her Kiev apartment, Yevgenia Pedubna describes the barrage of missiles that hit Ukraine yesterday morning, killing 19 people and injuring 100 more. Most of the victims, civilians, wounded as they started their work day. They really aimed at civilians who were out to work, to take their kids to, God, uh, to kindergartens, to school, etc. The bombing happened again this morning, damaging power supplies and leaving much of Kyiv without electricity. This is just a, a new chapter of this war where they're specifically targeting civilians even more than they were before. Andy Kurtzig heads up a Bay Area-based nonprofit foundation aimed at helping Ukraine. He delivered 11 drones to the country and opened a mental health center in Lviv just last week. He says support's needed now more than ever. They need uh, uh, big power generators so people can charge their, their devices and be able to communicate uh, as well as possible. Russia is now a terrorist country. I mean, that's the best way to describe this. They are terrorizing the country of Ukraine. But Yevgenia Pedubna says things are different this time around. Many families are stocked up and prepared to hunker down and are determined not to panic. We are not scared anymore. This is not 24th of February. We do not want to run anywhere. We want to stay. We want to fight for Kiev. We want to fight for Ukraine because we are really fed up with people dying in the center of Kiev, in the center of Kharkiv, in the center of Mykolaiv, just because one old man wants to prove that Soviet Union still exists. Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.